Hi, in last video we have seen how we can add the auto logout functionality or session expired functionality where we have seen if we are not performing any action over the browser for some specific amount of time at that time we are getting the session expired error or alert message. In this video we are going to see how we can upload the images in the Django from the front end. So for that go to the Visual Studio Core then inside this settings.py file we need to add some path or uh, media URL for that let me take one comment first which is media URL here underscore Video. Then here we need to add the media URL for that media underscore URL equals to then we need to specify the path for that in single quote slash media media that's it see here you can give any name but uh, it is uh, recommended to give the media only even if you give any other name it will not affect your project but for a better practice give media only and here also you can give another name but uh, make sure this is a media media url only so it will not create any confusion in future and after that we need to define the media root for that media underscore root the media root here we need to specify the root or address or path of our the media folder in which we are going to be store the uploaded images for that go to the up and make one thing make sure one thing this import os should be importing your settings.py file if it is not there then import it after that copy this one copy this line and come below and paste here and in place of static copy this one and paste this one so whatever you have written here simply paste here that's it then control s after that we need to define the url for the our media folder for that go to the urls.py file again don't be confused there is a two urls.py file one at the project level second at the application level so it is highly recommend to maintain the media file at the project level see you can either maintain at the project level or the application level it's a based on your requirement so in my case i'm going to maintain the urls.py file which is at project level so here this is the our project and inside the our project we have one file urls.py file so here we need to maintain the urls for the media file but before going to maintain the urls we need to import the two libraries which is a static and the settings for that from the django or cons from the django.com import settings and second one we required static which is from the django or cons dot u or static static okay. then at the last after completing this square parenthesis add plus then here we need to specify the media url and the media root what we have defined inside the settings.py file inside the settings.py you have defined media url and the media root same thing we need to add inside the urls.py file one second yeah then static at the static settings install here we need to define the media url so inside the settings.py file this is the our media url copy this one then paste here comma document document underscore 
root this document underscore root is nothing but the location or path where our document going to be upload or store first two then settings.py file copy this one then come here and paste here that's it but one second here also when you got settings dot media yeah. press so let me tell you what we have did up to this point go to the settings.py file see here we have defined the media url and the media root this media url is nothing but the location where we are going to be store our media or image folder or image file so this base dir is nothing but the location up to our the project so see django crm this is our project name and this is the up to the base location so we have maintained media here right media here so it means whatever we are going to be store inside this media it will going to be stored at this location which is django crm same location we are going to be store our images after that inside the urls.py file we have imported two files or two libraries which is settings and the statics and after that we have maintained the our media url and the media root the same which we have defined inside the settings.py file that's it then control s after that we need to add one image field so inside the models go inside the models.py file yeah here we need to add the image field so let me take one image field for example i'm taking profile profile underscore click those two models then field type image image then here i'm defining null equals to true it means if it is a null then don't throw any error it should it will take then blank blank equals to also i'm taking the true and then we need to specify the location where we want to upload this image for that upload to then here we need to specify the location images here you can give any name i'm giving images whatever name you will give it will not throw any error it's fine then slash then control s c we have added new image field so if you are doing any modification in the models then it is highly recommended to run the make migration and migrate command so keep in mind we have to run that to command and one more thing if we are uh, working with the images then in, we should install the pilo library which is highly recommended without pilo library you cannot perform any image upload related things after that control s then here we are working with the images which is one special field or multimedia field for that go to the templates inside the templates go to the particular templates where you are going to be import sorry where you are where you are going to be upload that images so in my case inside the add record i'm going to perform that action for that here i need to define the encode type encode type equals to multi part form data with the help of this only we can uh, work with the images file that's it our next step too we need to add that model field which is newly we have added inside so go to the forms.py file and here see we need to add that newly created fields so simply copy this one copy this one and paste here then go to the models.py file one second models.py file copy this name then go to the forms.py file and uh, here paste and one more thing in place of care field we need to write image and here also I don't require this widget right now so let me remove this one go 
plus one minute simply copy this one and paste here also yeah control s so and that newly created model field inside the form so that will reflect in our form that's it control s then open the command prompt once again here we are getting some error media url setting must ended with the slash we are getting some error inside the settings.py file go to the settings.py file yeah here we have did one mistake it should be like this control s then yeah then go to the browser and refresh let me log in if you remember we have created super user which is greedy greedy then password also greedy then click on login yeah profile image invalid identifier i told you if we are if we have did any changes inside the models so we need to run the make migration and migrate command then manage dot py then make migration make migrations here it's showing like uh, profile underscore image rename actually previous uh, previously i have um, created one profile underscore image field for the testing purpose because of that only it's showing this alerts so click on y then our next command migration for that we have a command python manage.py migrate migrate yeah it's done Django server for that we have a command python manage.py run server yeah it's running successfully go to the browser and refresh yeah let me show you from starting click on logout then here enter the username which is greedy greedy then password greedy then click on login yeah then click on add record then for example yeah i'm taking any name for example what should i take Rami. then last name yado then email address ramu gmail.com gmail.com then phone number city mumbai then state maharashtra mh then here c profile underscore image one choose file field is showing then click here previously it was not here so for example let me take virtual this image click on open then add record it's showing record added successfully close this one so see ramu one new record is added if you click on this right now it's not showing here so for that if i want to display that image here for that we need to do some configuration inside our particular template file or html file so i know this is coming from which html file for that go to the visual studio code and that uh, fields are coming from the record html so go to the record.html here so simply copy this line and stream then in place of state i need profile image file image whatever for example i'm taking p then here we need to specify the field name so remove this state and go to the models.py file once again models.py file simply copy this one .html and paste here that's it control s then go to the browser and refresh see that images underscore virtual dot jpg showing here this images is nothing but the automatically created folder i will show you where this folder is created 
and this virtual in my virtual dot jpg is nothing but my image name so if you go to the visual studio code as i told you this is the our uh, project and which is at the base dir location so at the same location one image folder will be create let me show you that image folder one second yeah see one media is created inside that media one image is, is created and here it's showing particular image what i have uploaded so see media underscore underscore sorry media slash images if you go to the settings.py file one second i will show you the compute path yeah here we have defined media url which is media so at the base dir one media folder is created you can see this is the our project based location at the same location one media file is created one second where yeah media file is media folder is created and inside that media folder one images folder is created this images folder is created because in the models.py file here we have a mention like that inside the images folder i want to upload my image because of that only this uh, for this hierarchy is created like um, media and images and inside the images our image is going to be stored the next things one second go to the here yeah but uh, for example here you want to display your image at that case what you need to do then go to the visual studio code then inside the record.html one second record.html here you need to add the image tag for that you can do one things yeah here take img image tag and uh, copy this one control x then paste here and uh, here you want complete url see this is highly important wait i'll show you without url and after url and one second here let me add one alternative text in some case maybe my image is broken at that time i want to display some alternative text for that this alt for example i want to show host or break whatever you want to show you can add here then control s go to the browser and refresh see profile pic image is lost so here dot control s now then refresh see i'll pick and it's showing here so based on a requirement you can modify this one for example come here then width whatever width you want for example i want 40 then go to the browser and refresh see like this you can change the width go back and one second let me show you in the database yeah see this is my table name my crm underscore record here if you see this virtual we have created for we have uploaded for the ram yado so inside the database only the location or address of that image is going to be stored database never going to be store the actual image it will only store the location of the image but here one twist for example in future you want to change that image for example click on this record and click on update so see here you have uploaded virtual.jpg in case you want to change this one for that click on choose file and for example this time you want to upload this django click open see here showing django click on update record record updated successfully but when you go again and see it's not it's not updated let me change the size of this pic so you can see clearly go to the visual studio code and here one second let me remove this one Less. see it's showing create virtual environment this image only but if you remember 
will show you again click on update then choose file and i'm choosing for example static whatever you want select it's showing static here then click on up record updated successfully but again when you are going here you will seeing the same same image create virtual environment it means we are able to upload the image but if for example i realized like i have uploaded the wrong file or wrong profile image and i want to change that image and that scenario what we can do let me show you for that go to the inside this set views.py file we need to go inside the update function which is we are using update view function which is we are using to be update the this record so this is the views which we are using for the updation so here we need to add one small thing for example if you have remember inside the add underscore record we have added this line simply copy this line and come to the update record and paste here then or after that copy this one here that's it and one more thing one more thing go to the your html page which is related to this update record so go to the update html file one second yeah update dot html file and here also we need to add one encode type encode type which is multi-part slash om data control s that's it nothing else then go to the browser refresh this one see right now it's showing create virtual environment then click on update then choose file then for example i'm taking the static then open then update record then again go to that particular record see static files in django let me change one more time click here on update record then choose file then for example i'm taking uh, for example model open then update record close this one then again go to that particular record c model so this is the complete functionality how we can upload the image in the django from the front end and how we can modify that particular image from the front end only so and one bit and one important thing i forgot to show you go to the command prompt and here i have not installed the pillow library because i have already installed for my previous project so let me show you if you are getting any error regarding the pillow library is not found how you can import for that we have a command pip pillow one second pip or pillow pillow so yeah as i told you i have already installed previously because of that already it's showing re requirement already satisfied see even if you are doing at the starting of the project also this pp installation it's okay so before going to perform any activity or any operation with the image folder or image file it's highly recommended first import this pip install and one more thing and one more thing there is a one command which is a pip freeze pip freeze with the help of this command you can see whatever the things is already installed in your particular django project so this is the see it's showing our pillow also here yeah so with the help of this pip fridge you can see whatever library is installed in your django project so thank you so much for watching this video and please like and subscribe bye